What is Google's cut for apps and in-app purchases that you publish to their Google Play Store? That's what this video is all about. Let's dive right in. Straight from their website in August 2021, here are their service fees they describe on their website. Apps and in-app products sold through Google Play are subject to a service fee. As of July 1st, 2021, that service fee is equivalent to if you're enrolled in the 15% service fee tier, and we'll talk about that in just a second, I'll open that link and show you what that is. Um, if you're enrolled in that 15% service fee tier, then it is 15% for the first 1 million US dollars of earnings each year, and then 30% for earnings in excess of 1 million US dollars each year. So basically 15% for the first million, and then after that, it's 30%. Again, only if you're enrolled in that tier. By the way, if you're not used to hearing that 15% number, that's because it's brand new. This is a new change they've made. So, you know, good for good for them and good for you. But back to the guide for developers who are not enrolled in the 15% service fee tier, the service fee is 30%. So this is what it used to be. It used to always be 30%. But now there's a tier you can enroll in and we'll cover that in just a second. Also for subscription products purchased by subscribers you retain after 12 months, the service fee is 15%. So they give you the benefit of the doubt here if you've onboarded some customers and they're still around for a while pay, paying you a service fee for your app um, or maybe something inside the app that's a subscription, then it's only 15% after 12 months. And importantly, those are our 12 paid months and they describe what that is right here. So the following count towards a user's 12 paid months. Subscribers with a grace period, subscribers who recover an account hold, grace period, pause, or subscription restore, subscribers with introductory pricing, subscribers who upgrade or downgrade to a different plan, subscribers who re-sign up within two months of canceling. And the following do not count towards those 12 paid months. Free trials, refunded purchases, time in account hold, and deferred time. And I'll leave a link to this below so you can go and read about the specifics of all those edge cases. But in general, the rules are pretty clear. After 12 months of paying validly, then the service fee is only 15% after that. Now let's get to the good stuff, what you're probably here for to understand about that 15% tier, how you enroll in it, and what exactly it is. Here's what they say. In March, 2021, we announced a change to our service fee to help boost developer success on Google Play. Starting July 1st, 2021, the service fee for each developer will be 15% for the first 1 million US dollars of earnings you make each year when you sell digital goods or services. This article explains how the 15% service fee tier will apply to you and how you enroll. Enrollment. To officially enroll in the 15% service fee tier, you must have a payments profile. You must have an account group of which your developer account is the primary developer account and let us know whether or not you have any associated developer accounts, ADAs, and accept the terms of service for the 15% service fee tier. To actually enroll for the 15% service fee, open Play Console and go to the associated developer accounts page. Follow these instructions to create an account group and let us know whether or not you have any ADAs. When you're finished setting up your account, you can enroll for the 15% service fee on the Associated Developer Accounts page. Important, your account group must include all your ADAs before you enroll. You won't be able to enroll if you have requests that you haven't responded to, or if some developer accounts haven't responded to your request to add them to your account group. Then you must read and accept the 15% service fee Terms of Service, and click Accept and Enroll. After enrolling it, you can see your enrollment status anytime at the bottom of the Associated Developer Accounts page. If you enroll before July 1st, 2021, note that the 15% service fee will apply as of July 1st, 2021. If you enroll after July 1st, the 15% service fee will apply as of the date you complete enrollment. Here's some more details on the 15% service fee for the first 1 million US dollars of earnings. This is just saying when it started. And then if you have multiple ADAs in your account group, the 15% service fee tier will be applied as long as the total earnings of all ADAs in the group are under 1 million US dollars. And every ADA will receive the benefit of the 15% service fee tier. Once the total earnings exceed 1 million US dollars, the service fee is 30% for all ADAs for the rest of the year. 
Earnings will be calculated on a calendar year basis, January 1st through December 31st. As the program starts halfway through the year, July 1st, 2021, the 2021 earning limit will be prorated to 500,000. So that means for this year, that limit is 500,000 as opposed to 1 million. Seems fair enough. Note that the 15% service fee tier will go into effect July 1st, 2021 for all developers who have completed enrollment before this date. For developers who complete enrollment after that date, the 15% will be applied starting from the date when enrollment is completed. That makes sense. You've got to enroll in order for it to take effect. Almost done here. A few more details about understanding the ADAs. So account groups are a new feature in Play Console that help us understand which developer accounts you're associated with. Providing this information helps us make sure you're eligible for the 15% service fee tier and for other Google Play developer programs and Play Console features and to provide future benefits. All ADAs are a part of an account group which represents a single enrollment in the 15% service fee tier. The group's primary developer account will apply on behalf of all ADAs in this group. Forming a group will not create or allow any additional access to individual developer accounts. In the group, the primary developer account holder will not have permission to view or manage any content including apps for any ADAs added to the account group unless the admins of the individual developer accounts explicitly add or adjust the account users or permissions. And finally, it has a link here to create and manage your account group. So in summary, there are these things called account groups where you can pretty much add developers to this account group. Those developers are called ADAs or associated developer accounts. And Google wants you to group all the associated developers together so that limit applies to that group. Now you can you can look at this as being bad for the group because like if everyone had their own limits, then um, then pretty much they would pay less to Google. But I would recommend just doing exactly what they say in their terms of service because you don't want to violate those and get kicked out of this program. Um, you know, keep it as clean and cut as you can. If you have associated developer accounts, create those accounts, follow the terms of service, and then you'll be able to um, get that generous 15% discount, pretty much, you know, an extra 15% in your pocket as opposed to going to Google for the first million. And again, that applies to both apps and in-app purchases. And there's some special rules around subscriptions. So that's it for this video, some basic info from Google's website about um, how their 15% how and 30% charges work and how you can get enrolled. Again, I'll leave links to that in the description below. If you like videos from me, Jameson Saunders, then make sure to click subscribe below and I'll see you in future videos. Thanks.